Hey everybody, welcome back or welcome if you're new. My heater is super loud, so if you hear that, I'm so sorry, but we are about to get into this video, so just a second. Anyways, so I'm going to show you all today all of the organization we have done to our single wide mobile home. We have not added on to this trailer. We don't have any kind of built-ins or anything like that. So it is a 1997 single wide trailer and I'm pretty sure it is a 14 by 70 or 16 by 70. It's three bedrooms, two full bathrooms, kitchen, living room laundry area is what I like to call it so without further ado this is somewhat a home tour but also mainly a lot of organization ideas for y'all because I asked you what kind of video you wanted to see and this one was overwhelmingly the one you wanted to see so let's go ahead and get right into it all right so here is our laundry area this is the first little area as you come in the door so there's not much room right here at all so what i did with this was all of our kitchen towels because we don't have a closet or a pantry for those items um i put them in this little thing right here that i got from hobby lobby um but you could get it from anywhere so i just have that to put all of our towel our little hand towels and stuff in and then i put our little laundry soap right there and then in that one i have there's some revolve spray back there because of our little dog but I've got my scent beads and dryer balls right here. And there's enough room in this to put two more of these containers back there. So I love using containers as you can see. It allows you to keep the amount of stuff that you need in a small space without it becoming really cluttered. So the eye, the visual is not seeing all of this chaos. The chaos is inside so <laughs> um i keep all of our cleaning products that we don't use all the time in that bin there is a steamer and um i feel like there's an iron in there as well and then all of aaron's medication is in there and then i normally keep the two i use love made cleaning spray which is in my hallway right now um and then i use this as an antibacterial and normally I just hang those up here and then over here I keep my aprons I just hang them up and put them in the little crack right there I've got this little dust wand that I have somehow hooked to the railing right here and then same thing this is a hose that you attach to your vacuum and you're able to clean out your um, thing right there thing 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 is what I say about everything <laughs> okay so we're gonna go in the bedroom now but that's pretty much what I have for the laundry area um Erin could because we don't have the actual thing that goes in here we don't have heating and air we have to have all those in the windows and stuff um he could take this and open it up and create me a little pantry but as for right now we don't really need it so we've just left this alone but that is an idea all right so this is our biggest bedroom and the first organization thing I have is this little rack right here it's actually one that goes in your shower to put your robes and stuff on but Aaron has so many hats and so i just put all of his hats on these little metal hooks and you can pick these up just about anywhere i think we got that one at like a big lots or a ross so if you have a husband with a lot of hats <laughs> you can put them on one of those robe holders so moving into the bedroom as you can see it's not very big I have some clothes over there that I need to list to Poshmark, so that's normally not there. But our bedroom, um, we don't have a headboard or anything like that. We don't have um, a frame for the bed. 
So we just put lights up there and then put the little garland stuff with the reefs at the top to make it look like it has a headboard. The headboard would take up a little bit more space so we pushed the bed all the way against the wall and yeah. So anyways, this is a little table beside our bed and we really don't have anything on it but like decor and also a little clock down there for Aaron's alarm. And then I just put his shoes under there so they're somewhat hidden. And then this is our closet. So we put leftover, um, there's a safe, there is a heater, and then that bag has, I don't know what is in there, that's Aaron's stuff, it's an Ikea bag, it's huge great tip buy some ikea bags to store items they are massive but all of his um well not all of his but a lot of his clothes are hung up right there and then that is what i do with our extra linen items i save these plastic zip up bags to keep all of our linens in i need to get another one to put these in but I just keep those so that I can store them up there, but that's our closet, and then okay, over here, we recently created this, it's a knot box, and I put a bunch of spa items in here, that way I know where they are, and it reminds me to take some time for self care as well. But I keep a lot of our lotions and razors and bath soaks, stuff like that. And even some little washcloths in this container right here. I'm telling y'all, I love containers. And then this little wooden container, I have all of my perfumes in. I have some hair accessories in there. Um, some little, per little perfumes down here. And then some bigger ones up here. So I just keep all that there. And then there's a candle. My little lantern is for decor. And then how we fold our clothes is here are all of my socks right here. I just lay them flat um, so that I can see everything. And I like to lay uh, my intimate items flat as well. So these are all sports bras and they are all the same bra because... You know, if it ain't broke, don't fix it, right? Anyways, here is Erin's um, undergarment area and pajamas. So I have pajama pants here, white and gray socks here, black socks here, and then all of his underwear over there. And we do the Kunmari where you roll it up because it seems to be much easier um, to keep visually like pleasing and then the same thing with this drawer is all of his tops so we keep that all rolled up as well and then we'll go in the bathroom but I want to show y'all this drawer right here I just have my jewelry in and a notebook for when I'm journaling okay so the bathroom is very small as you can see but hey we have a bathroom thank god <laughs> um so bathroom same thing containers so one we have a container with our towels in it and we roll those up like that same thing with these these little collapsible bins i'm pretty sure i got at walmart for under two dollars and they were more shallow so shorter that way I can actually reach in here um, because I did actually have these size in here and you would have to pull it out and then they would get messed up so if you need something like this this normally goes over your toilet um, but it did not want to stay <laughs> so we put it over here um, but I've got towels, I've got shaving stuff for Erin, all of my hair accessories are here, and then all of our, you know, like, um, personal care items are in here, 
and then all my makeup is in there what's in here more personal care items then this little basket is just this is not supposed to be in here but this is just Aaron's um, more of his hair care stuff he has a big beard and then underneath here I have some cleaning products that are meant for the bathroom and then feminine items and of course it's in a bucket I wonder if I have anything under there oh so we have a uh, dog pads for Chloe right there I didn't know I had that so I try to keep everything in a container unless it is pretty big that way it doesn't get pushed to the back and then I not be able to see it and then I go out and I buy another one because I thought I didn't have one all right so that was it for the bedroom in the bathroom it's pretty simple um so now we are in the kitchen oh the lighting is getting weird <laughs> also um I do have all of my paint because I have been painting like a mad woman but this is the kitchen and I'm going to show you how we organized it so right off the bat <laughs> where do they come up with these sayings right off the bat I wonder if that's for baseball probably so okay so you may not be able to t oh yeah you can so I have all these command hooks right here that our pots and pans go on the, they're all in the sink right now soaking um so I hang up our pans and a couple of our pots like this size not the biggest one we have but the small one I just use command hooks these are three pound command hooks and I hook them that way uh, they're not taking up a lot of space in the cabinet and I never have to bend down and reach I can just come over here and pick one up and then start cooking and I love that so this is just a little little some decor and then I do have that basket which right now I have decor in but I used to put uh, potatoes and onions in there so just a little table for that area okay and then we'll go in the fridge so in the refrigerator I have more containers these little pink and white containers are from the Dollar Tree and I just used them to categorize my food and the drinks that way again nothing gets pushed to the back where I'm repurchasing something that I already have on hand so these are super affordable just go to the Dollar Tree love going there to get organization stuff then over here I have a container for all my utensils because I have we'll get into these later but these are the only three little drawers I have for any kind of kitchen utensils tools stuff like that those three so to save room to be able to put other stuff in there I have all of our cooking utensils in this container right here which came from Hobby Lobby then right here as you can see this little basket came from Dollar General and I just put all of my vitamins in here and then my like drink healthy drink supplement stuff in here that I never use <laughs> I need a blender this stuff tastes terrible um, this stuff doesn't taste like anything but um, if you don't have a blender it, it kind of like congeals so I need a blender but I keep all of our vitamins in here because we do not have a medicine cabinet so that's where they go and then I've got some cookies a cookie jar right here this came from my friend Megan. Y'all probably already know her, but it's Love Meg. She sent me this You Better Not Pout. And she sent this. Hey, y'all. Me, her, oh, my grammar is totally incorrect. Okay. Meg. I call her Megan, but I know y'all call her Meg. Meg, my friend Faith from Faith's Life and myself love Paula Dean, but we watch videos that are hilarious 
that are kind of like parodies of Paula Deen. Anyways, if you know, you know. But it, it cracked me up so much when she sent that. Okay, so in the cabinets for food, because we don't have a pantry, um, we just front face everything. And if the item, if there's more than one item, then it has to be the same thing. That way I don't forget and I know what I have. So green beans and then green beans. So that's how it would go. Corn, if there was more corn, it would have to go behind that. That way, whatever is in the front is also what's in the back. And then Megan also sent me, me these um, ooey gooey butter cake mix from Paula Deen. So I can't wait. I gotta go out and buy some cream cheese. I may do that today. I wanna make those so bad. Maybe we'll do that in a video. But everything is just front facing. That way I can see it. I've got stuff labeled here with my Cricut. So that's what I do with all the food. And I do like to put a lot of the stuff in these containers, but you definitely don't have to. It just, for me, it seems like it saves space. Um, with not having so many boxes that are different shapes and stuff. I just use the same thing. So, that's what I have there. And then, this is our spice area. So, I have baking supplies, oatmeal, stuff like that up there in those clear containers. Those containers I got from Dollar General. This little wire rack is from the Dollar Tree. I put our seasoning in. We've got our seasoned salt there. And then this shelf, I have it where it's just one right now, but it does come out and make, it's like 24 inches long. Um, so if you have a lot of spices and you have a lot of space, you can, um, if I can get it, you can see how you can, you can pull that out all the way to like 24 inches it will double the size so I put our most used spices right here that way I'm you know right here I can just open this and reach up and there's some more stuff up there in containers so that's how I keep our food I need to reorganize our drink stuff but this is where all of our cups are and then this drawer where all of our plates, bowls, and Tupperware is. Okay, so I would just keep our salt and pepper on the stove right there. I wonder what this looks like. This is probably not organized. Yeah, I mean, I really only use that white thing right there, the crock pot, air fryer, and this big pot. <laughs> And then I've got an extra clear container if I need it. So that is what that looks like. Then this is our silverware drawer. So we've got this little wooden one at Walmart. Put all of our silverware in here. And then there's just random extras through here. This is what I call real life organizing. I could not be too finicky when it comes to this stuff. Because it would never stay the same. So... Right here, as I was telling y'all, I have, oh shoot, <laughs> I have all of our cooking utensils in that uh, thing up there. I'll just show you. Container. I don't always know how to speak. Okay, so in here I've got lids, I've got cup lids, because we drink a lot out of those like um, tumblers. Then we've got measuring cups in here. And then down here what in the world <coughs> this came off of my Santa <laughs> too funny okay so in this third the third one I have some of these oven mitts I have this right here for uh, making soaps I've got more of my Tupperware containers. And then we've got a lot of knives that we never use. But Erin will not let me get rid of. So, that is what 
is in this drawer, which I really need to fix. Okay, so since we're down here, I'll go ahead and open these. We use the pink. Okay, we got pink containers. These are from Walmart. So, and that one is cleaning products. This one has all of our um, wax paper, parchment paper, trash bags, anything that's really in a box goes in there. And then this one has all of our like paint, rug doctor, there's a little paint thing right there. And then there's an Ikea bag, Aaron put that there. And <laughs> down there behind the pink container is a small black trash can that we put all of our food line bags walmart bags any kind of plastic bag in because we reuse those plastic bags so that is what we have in the cabinets down here i love using those little collapsible bins okay and then up here since we don't have a medicine cabinet all of our medication goes in this little clear container right here. We've got an emergency radio that you can just crank up. It's solar powered. I have coffee up there. Um, I've got more candles that are, I really just need to turn into something else. And then more essential oils. And ripe. <sighs> this is the same camera y'all are looking at. Except for the camera I'm holding in that's filming you is the mark three this one was the mark two i broke it uh that was i cried that day cried that day so all right this is the painting i am working on right now but it's not done yet so anyways i will be working on that a little bit later today i've got to finish the eye right here because it's not not where I want it to be and then there's some other areas that are not where I want them to be either like right here i have got to do another coat of paint so fun fun been having lots of fun painting I painted that and then I did not paint that that came from Hobby Lobby <laughs> this is the first one that I did there's another one and then there's another one in the hallway so this is the living room right out of the kitchen i have a container right there underneath chloe's little table that she lays on she's in the blanket right now and it's got a bunch of junk in it that is errands <laughs> and then here is here's our living room so i didn't want the house to look fake if that makes sense i wanted y'all to get like a real idea of what it looks like when it's clean and somewhat organized <laughs> just to give you all some ideas so i put all of our blankets in this little circular container right there um and it's overflowing right now and then down here our new TV stand is um, open as you can see so the clutter the, there really can't be clutter aside from the decor if you want to call that clutter um, which it is but whatever I like it um, so everything that's in a container is tr neatly in there and the little gray ones came from Burke's outlet and then I have one back there also that's blue and white that came from Burke's Outlet. But I just keep little books and color pencils. This one has some wax melts and some tape as you can see on the top of there. Then that one just has a journal in it right here. When I want to romanticize my life. <laughs> Okay, and then I have all my sage in that container right there. Okay, and then Erin's little table 
with all of his vaping stuff is I put all of his stuff in here but um as you can see it gets cluttered sometimes but uh I do not mind it at all this is his one little spot and the whole house aside from his office that can be like his own whatever he wants it to look like so I don't mess with this anymore and then I've got our foot massager underneath the table because I don't have anywhere else to put it <laughs> so this is the living room right here so Aaron's bathroom is organized the same way or well she's a guest bathroom but it's organized the same way as the master bathroom and so yeah this is what everything looks like and then there's two more there's two we call them offices because we don't have kids so there's two offices back there they are not organized right now and then the bathroom so that is all i was going to show y'all today and then this is some of y'all asked if i could show you my little paintings so this is the last one i did it's a sunset and the woods with a lake right there i don't know why the camera puts a bunch of like lines in it but that's what it looks like anyways so that's it that's all she wrote there it is that's everything so i really just use a lot of bins I use a lot of bins to keep everything organized it's super affordable that way there's no like built-ins like you don't have to build anything just use the space you have to your advantage so especially my favorite thing I think that we've done is put all the command hooks up there and just hang up the pans and some of the pots because it really does make a difference when I'm cooking I can just walk over get it come back and I don't have to like bend over and try to reach for things so that is the best for me but all right y'all so that's it for me I feel like I should have gave a disclaimer at the beginning of this video but I forgot so if you made it this far I just want you to know that this is how we have chose to organize our home and live in this space so if it applies to you that is great but if it does not apply to you um, that is also great i feel like this is if anything for entertainment for y'all and um, if you got anything from it then i think that's awesome but if you didn't that's okay and just be gentle in the comments <laughs> because this is how we live this is our life and um, we just want to share it with y'all because hopefully it will help somebody out there um, feel more comfortable in their home. Um, I love living in this house and I thought about doing a video about why we live simple. So if you want to see that, let me know because I feel like it's uh, pretty valuable and it may help some of y'all out that um, maybe struggle sometimes in the living situation that you're in. So, all right. I'll see you later. Bye.